Good day everybody. Let's get started with the figure. Now the figure is a little bit tricky. I am trying my best to draw the figure. So we have a circle and we need to have the triangle. So the drawing the figure part is little bit challenging. Why is it little bit challenging? For the fact that we need to have the tangents and the triangle. The circle is actually on this corner and at this corner the side of the square is having a tangent here and a tangent here. So whenever two sides of a square is having a tangent to the circle and if you were to connect the vertex, connect this vertex along with the center that would in turn hit the other vertex. So I need to make sure that is actually happening. So I need to make sure that the diagonal is hit or I should say the, the vertex According to the question, we are expected to find the area of this triangle. Now, this line is not given in the figure. Now, I have drawn this line. The reason I have drawn this line is that the circle is actually as a tangent at this end as well as at this end. When this condition is satisfied, if you were to draw a line through the center connecting the two vertices of the square that line db would be a diagonal so that is a very important part or very important concept we would have to utilize without that concept we would not be able to get the solution now according to the question the side of the square is given to be a 6 units and this is given to be a 6 units all these all the sides are 6 units right now we have to know this length right we have to know this length and for that what I wish to do is foremost I would like to drop a perpendicular. Now the radius of the circle, the radius is given to be as two units. Now according to the circle theorem or the tangent theorem, since I know that DC is a tangent to the circle, if you were to drop a perpendicular from the center to the tangent, that will make an angle of 90 degree. In other words, you can say that if you had to drop a line from the circle to the tangent, that would make not an angle of 90 degree. Not only that, that would also be the radius. So probably what I can do is, if I were to connect the center with the tangent, that line would make an angle of 90 degree. So this is 90 degree and this is the radius. So this is two units and if I were to uh, stretch this, if I were to take this point and connect this to the tangent here, right, that would also be the radius. So this would be two units. So this is going to be two units, right. And this is going to be 90 degree. This is 90 degree. This is 90 degree. Okay. Now, foremost, what we need to do is we need to know I can actually connect this from the center to the tangent and that would actually become uh, a square. 
Why do I say it's a square? Because this is two units, this is two units. And of course, if I were to bring this down, this is also going to be two units. Right. And this side is actually parallel. So this is going to be two units. So all of these sides are going to be two units. Okay. Now, let me start off by finding the length of db. Right. Let us find the length of db. So what is db? Now, this is 90 degree. Right. So this side is 6 and this entire this entire length is 6 units. So therefore the diagonal db is going to be a root 2. This is the formula. So in this case it is going to be 6 times root 2. So this entire length is going to be 6 times root 2. Okay, fine. Now I am interested in this point. Say for example this is O. I want to know what is O B. I would like to know what is O B. Right? That is a valid question, right? Okay. Now, watch here. This is two units. As I mentioned to you, this is forming a square. This is also going to be two units. So, clearly, O D. O D is going to be A times root 2. Now, in this case, the length is 2, 2. So, this is equal to 2 times root 2. So, O D is equal to 2 times root 2, which you can write here, 2 times root 2. Now, I am interested in obtaining O, B, right? Now, how do you get O, B? O, B is nothing but D, B minus O, D. Now, what is D, B? D, B is 6 root 2 and what is O, D? O, D is 2 times root 2. So, what do you get here? You get here 4 times root 2. So, this distance, this distance is actually 4 times root 2. I hope I am making the point clear. Now I have got this, this is hypotenuse and probably I will write this as P and this is the other side. We can do is since this is 90 degree, I can apply the Pythagoras law or Pythagoras theorem. So by Pythagoras theorem, we know that, what do we know? this squared op squared plus pb squared is equal to ob squared. I know op squared 2 squared. I don't know pb squared and I know ob squared that is 4 into root 2 raised to the power of 2, right? So therefore pb squared is equal to this is 16 times 2 negative 4 which is nothing but 32 negative 4 which is nothing but 28 therefore pb is equal to root of 28 which is nothing but 4 times 4 times 7 there's a root there so which is going to be 2 times root 7 right so this is my pb 2 times root 7 so i can place that value so this is actually part of a triangle right part of the triangle that we need so 2 times root 7, I am going to place that 2 times root 7. Okay, that's fine. Now let us move on. Now as I mentioned to you, we need to know this length so that we can actually calculate, again we can use Pythagoras, but there is a small segment which is coming out over here. You see that? There is a small segment. Now let me take that point there as t and there is a tangent here and let me take this as q. Now observe this, this is an external point. Now if you were to draw a tangent to the circle from an external point then qt will be equal to tp by theorem, right? Because the tangent is drawn to the circle from an external point. So if I were to take this point as x, this will also be x. So I have somehow got this TB. That's fine. Now the question is, I need to get TC. So TB, what is TB? TB is nothing but x positive 2 times root 7. That's fine. Now TC, what is TC? Now to get TC, I have to take away 
which distance? I have to take away TD. Now what is TD? Now TD is 2 plus X. Now what is DC? DC is 6 units. Now I need TC. So TC is equal to from 6 units you take away 2 positive X. Right? You take away this entire thing. From 6 you take away this entire thing you get this. So that's nothing but 4 negative X. This is going to be my TC. 4 negative X. Now we can use Pythagoras. So by Pythagoras so by Pythagoras law what do we get by Pythagoras law? This squared right 4 negative x squared plus 6 squared is equal to x plus 2 times root 7. So this is going to be x plus 2 times root 7 raised to the power of 2. So this is a system and this is a function of one variable and we can simply solve this. It's easy to solve this. So let me do that. So 16 negative 8 times x positive x squared positive 36 this is x squared 2 times uh, 4 times x times root 7 you square this you get 4 times 7 x squared x squared can be cancelled I can bring this 8x here so 4 times x root 7 positive 8x I can move this to the other side 7 plus 28 and uh, this is 36 46 52 negative 28 right so what is that 52 negative 28 10 that's going to be 4 and you have a 4 24 so 24 is equal to I can take x out I can take 4 out this would be root of 7 positive 2 right so 4 divides here 6 times and I can push this root of 7 positive 2 so this is my x right so therefore if you were to rationalize this so I'm going to multiply by root of 7 negative 2 divide by root of 7 negative 2 you already have root of 7 plus 2 now this is going to be 6 times root of 7 negative 12 divided by 7 negative 2 squared is 4 which is going to be okay I have actually multiplied I, I need not have to multiply it so let me keep this as 2 so we're going to be 6 times root of 7 negative 2 7 negative 4 gives me 3 3 divided 6 2 times so therefore x is equal to 2 times root 7 negative 2 so this is my value of x right 2 times root 7 negative 2 okay so go back to the figure now watch here this this length is known right the segment is known now let me calculate tc tc is equal to 4 negative x which is nothing but 4 negative my x is 2 times of root 7 negative 2 substitute that value 2 times of root 7 negative 2 so this is going to be 4 negative 2 times of root 7 negative negative positive 4 right negative negative positive and 4 added to the 4 will give you 8 negative 2 times root 7 so you take 4 out this is going to be 2 negative uh, you can't take 4 out you can take 2 out you take 2 out this is going to be 4 negative root 7 so this is TC let's check one more time x is 2 times root 7 negative 2 so this is 2 positive 8 and that's fine so this is the value okay I hope uh, let me let me show this one more time we need to get TC TC is 4 negative root uh, 4 negative x right x value I have just found so that's going to be 4 negative of 2 times root 7 negative 2 and this is 4 negative 2 times root 7 negative negative positive 4 so 4 added with 4 will give me 8 negative 2 times root 7 and this is going to be I can take 2 out so that's going to be 2 times of 4 negative root 7 so this is what I've got so this is my TC right 
So all I need to do is find the area. So what is the area formula? Let me use area of the we need to get the area of the triangle. What is that area of triangle is equal half times base into height. What is my base? My base is 2 times of 4 negative root 7 and my height is 6 units times 6. So 2 2 gets cancelled and uh, the area is 6 times of 4 negative root 7. And if you want you can simplify this. Uh, simplify when I say simplify, you have to use a calculator, right? But I can just simply state this as the answer. So 6 times of 4 negative root 7 square units. And that is the required area of the triangle. So this is what is required. So this is a beautiful question. And it involves a lot of concepts in geometry. Thank you, everybody. I hope you enjoyed this question. Until we meet again, good night.